welcome back to the show if you're just joining us now this is Utuntu Zambazin lifestyle show if you're joining us on social media you're probably on Facebook or YouTube is it about say welcome to our YouTube channel yeah we say welcome to our YouTube channel <laughs> yeah we could say that yeah <laughs> but yeah thank you for joining us and if you're just joining us now don't worry you can catch up on all our social media platforms we stream there so you don't miss out on the fun today we're shooting from mid lounge it's a very very beautiful place here in Osaka, right here at acacia park and now we're going to get into an interesting part of the topic where we talk about what's trending so this is what the gist is this is where we just bring in our opinion and want to hear your views concerning each and every topic that we're going to have here because i mean your opinion matters so in us what do you have for us today the okay. Tonga guy. By the way, I'm Inosa Kola, the Tonga guy. And yeah, so our topics, the topics we have today are number one, uh, the divorce club is now charging for you to watch their show. Uh, the other topic we have is Zambian Airways, just the whole, just, just the launch. We're going to talk about the launch of Zambian Airways. Um, we're also going to talk about the COVID-19 situation and how people are being, I, I don't know if I should say pressured or forced to vaccinate. <laughs> they yeah. applied pressure, eh? They've applied pressure. Mm. But yeah, that's what we're to have. Okay, so to start with the divorce club, I'm so excited. First of all, we've been getting into the charging part. My favorite episode, which oh, it's the only one I've ever watched, is the one where that elderly man was being told, You're being childish, Richard. Oh, my <laughs> My young girl, and yeah, but like, it's a lot of drama. I've never actually taken time to watch it, but I know it's really creative. Yeah, it is. It's something different from what we see every day. Yeah. It's, yeah, but to you, what is it? Is it scripted? Do you think it's scripted or it's real life? I honestly think it's scripted because of some parts. Sometimes you'd believe and sometimes you wouldn't. But I don't think it matters. It's entertainment. It's very entertaining. Yeah. They did understand the assignment. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. So how does the charging work? Like, do you pay? So, do you subscribe? Or you yeah, yeah. Facebook, it's, okay? They changed. Mm -hmm. They used to do it on Facebook. I guess that was a need. So now they're doing it on uh, their website. If you want to like watch, you go Kazadi. on their website. Yeah, yeah. But I think because Kaz yeah. Kazadi. So you have to go on their website and you pay a one dollar, which is not bad, guys. We should understand that content, making content, isn't cheap. So that's a push. Like they have enough subscribers to make money. It's just one, but seventeen kocha isn't a lot of money to invest in. If you want to be entertained, mm -hmm. it's worth it. So can you download it or just? I think you just watch it and stream it from there due to copyright that reasons. Someone who, smart. Yeah, someone who that downloaded it. That is smart. Yeah. Wow, but that's a good marketing strategy right yeah, it there. Is, it is, it is. That is good. And I don't think we have anything like that, like where you just stream and not mm -hmm. directly. That is quite a move, and I'm hoping to try that yeah. and see how it goes. I actually think we should, like, find someone to invest in making a platform for streaming Zambian content, content. Yeah, yeah, and that's with true. a charge of course yeah where people can yeah. actually monetize all these things that yeah, they're putting because, out because yeah because with YouTube right now Zambian content in Zambia you can't watch ads if you notice they're no longer ads on YouTube yes, yes. yeah so if you're in Zambia you can't see ads so YouTubers in Zambia with Zambian audience will get to make much money so oh. making people finding a way to make people pay for watching your content it would be something to help them push. So wait, I, I didn't, I, I, I had no idea that YouTube actually changed their, wow, so they're changing all the time. I know, I know Instagram does that and Facebook, they change their local things every other time, they want to promote, like the other time there was a period where uh, organic content couldn't be shared as yeah. much as promoted content mm -hmm. so if you're a content creator out there and you're looking into making content this is actually a good time to learn from the divorce club yeah. where you get to monetize your content and yeah i love this I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why they decided to take it that side because they noticed that these platforms are not giving yeah. yes yes so i do that too so Great. I hope you guys see it in a different perspective. Wow, well, well, so what's your view on, uh, want to hear from you, what's your view when concerning the divorce club charging a dollar for an episode? I mean, that entertainment is worth a dollar. It is, definitely. <laughs> it is worth a dollar. So do check it out and let us know what your view is. I'd also like to know what the payment methods are. Can you use Airtel money? Do you use the bank? So 
we want to hear from you let us know what your view is and the next topic is so we'll talk about the zambian arrows so with the zambian arrows tisa let me just ask you one question what was the first thing that came to your mind when you just saw the whole like the, the, the plane okay the, the aircraft they well for me i was i was proud i was happy i'm glad i mean it's still going to develop in the matter how small makes a difference for me so i was excited about it and what except when i saw the plane and the promo charges for the flight yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like this is good this is good and i was like hey manja covid is it i know okay <laughs> so to find out. um what i think what i think about it First of all, I was excited like they they promoted before like actually exactly, showing us it. Yeah. So like I was very excited, pumped up. I saw the pictures they showed us like wow, this is going to be amazing. When I saw the plane, I'm not going to be that guy, but I'm going to be the Wendy Williams of the show and say <laughs> I think they should they could have done better. It's it's not a private owned company I heard. Yeah. So if it's the government, I think that the do better for a flight carrier the plane is supposed to go okay for me I, I don't know planes the same mm -hmm. way i don't know cars <laughs> yeah. so i didn't understand the whole meme that everyone shared why they said the plane that we had in 1980 is better than the plane that we have now so what what why are they shedding the yeah okay so it's it, it's 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 like a downgrade because the plane we had back then if you just see the pictures it's it's bigger i don't really know what type because most common i don't know if i should go into detail about it, like uh, boeing 7 what what and that was the one we we're using that time but now we're using something that's so small it's like a 70 seater so 70 people that's that's your nation right so i think they should I'm think still about right <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah but it's a good step i know most people shared that picture though i did not get it because for me both are planes and yeah, all that but yeah it's a good it's a good thing um we're making a step investors are coming in so yeah it's yeah, great they will improve in time right, what else? so now uh the government uh, we heard that the government is now uh, requiring you to have the vaccine to have the proof of the vaccine if you want to enter government buildings and apparently it includes markets, malls and everything else. So if you want to access the public, basically, you need the vaccine. So what do you think? Well, it's a very sensitive topic that, well, like I say, is I get where it's coming from. It's pretty much trying to keep everyone safe. It's trying to make sure everyone is okay. It's like a health measure that is needed. But obviously everyone has different views, their beliefs, so that just... I mean, there's going to be a difference in every now and then. So. Before, before we go further, I don't want to cut you off. Are you vaccinated? Yes, I am. Oh, that's nice. Long time ago. Okay, that's amazing. Actually, I, I don't, I, I'm puzzled at this point. Myself, I'm below the age they say they want you to get vaccinated. Yeah. So I don't know if I am allowed to go there or I'm supposed to stay home because I can't get vaccinated. I, I, I really need to find out more details. You need to ask that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, all right. No, thank you so much. And I, I, I personally feel everyone should, unless it's, there, it's your choice whether you have to get vaccinated or not. But just stay safe, take care. Yeah. yeah. Mask up, just follow the guidelines you can see. I wish you for the very best. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us. It's been nice to hear your views, presenting everything, and we are hoping to hear from the people out there as well what the news. back you're just joining us now this is the two two zombies in lifestyle show and today we are at mid lounge we're at the cashew bag i love it it's such a very cute place and calm as well the music is mellow it's a yummy the music is giving vibes lovely lovely place top notch yeah, yeah. they pay attention to you i mean <laughs> I feel like a queen out here. I know, right? <laughs> they will well be treated. more taken care of. So if you're a vacation planner and you're looking for a place to have your meeting, to just have a cute yeah, day, a little breakfast even, a nice meal, this yeah. some yummy cake. Good and I love their smoothies as well. Yeah. Mine is yummy. And, and there's just something about the whole setup, the trees, the flowers, that just makes you feel like the are not in yeah. the middle of town. Like always, yeah, it's very nature-esque. 
Is that a word? Yeah. That was a word. Yeah. <laughs> so take, take it, it upwards. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's really amazing. It's beautiful and quiet. I like the fact that it's so it's private, you know, not everybody can exactly. you know like yeah. just pop up, you know. Exactly. Expect not to meet everybody. So that's a good thing. Yeah, you don't meet everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just in case if you're owing somebody money but you still want to hang out and have a good time. Exactly. Midlands is the right place to come to. Yeah. Yeah. Our show was pretty exciting today, Very wasn't exciting. it? It was. I mean, uh, Chubby spoke about places we could go to. Mm -hmm. There's train travel, going up to Chishimba Falls. I personally want to try that. I didn't Have know. I've never been on a train before. <laughs> really? So I personally want to try that out. She has amazing packages, you guys. High end and budget for family, for those who are looking for some downtime as well. If you're, if you're trying to do more activities, she mentioned Lois well and Lazy and Livingston. So, you guys, please, please check her out. Like I said, COVID does not have to be boring. I know we're going to be cooped up in the country. Yeah. So, let's make the most of it. Sure. Mm. Mika's fashion show. Oh my ah, gosh. I can't stop talking yeah. about it. It's just amazing, you guys. <laughs> Do you have any? Do you find a chance to have a peace in mind where you're 100 percent sure to say it doesn't matter how much I'll make, I need to get that piece right now from that fashion show? <laughs> yes, I do. It's the blue pants, and ah. I love the opening piece. That orange, yes. the orange that was that was fire. The two me. piece, the, the two, two piece. piece. Yes. And do you know, like he actually mentioned that two piece uh, color. The what you call the mood board? Okay. The one that's kind of the mood board from mm -hmm. that piece. It actually came from an outfit that his mom wore. Oh. One of the pictures. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Love the inspiration. I love when Too fashion much. is drawn from within of a mm -hmm. person that touches because it makes the pieces and it's down out even more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And very it has that authenticity in it that you can't just copy. So I mean, true. That's true. Yeah. There's the emotion. You can't copy emotion. You can't <laughs> copy. <laughs> That's the personal experience. You cannot copy so that. True. No, that's true. The show is amazing. Yeah, maybe for you, trying out different things that it's for. Trying out different things. What do you mean? In what no, area exactly? No, when it comes to work, you have explored different industries. Yeah, I have. In hospitality, and yeah. you would know like how difficult it is to just put your work out there and be in front of people. I mean, you dealt with customers. Honestly, like any other job, when you're introduced to something for the first time, yeah. it's quite challenging. Yeah. But once you do it, pardon? With the level of confidence that comes with it. I mean, even if you don't have, you just reach yeah. a point where you just have to do it because you're now in the environment. So no matter what, you need to play, show that you have what it takes to actually run the race. And which yeah. is what almost everybody goes through. I mean, and sometimes you just yeah. gotta fake it till you make Thank it. You. I mean, I was listening to an interview with yeah. Rihanna and she was asked like, listen, obviously, what do you do in the moments that you need confidence? And when yeah. you're not confident, what do you do? She says, listen, I get up and I'll fake the confidence and eventually you start to feel it. Yeah. And you just get on with the day and boom, bam, you're doing what you need to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. And it, it doesn't always start good. Yeah. Yeah. And there are times where, okay, there are people can come out differently. It's okay, I loved it. You know, it was yeah. excited. I mean, I was exciting. I mean, it was excited. You're I am exciting. excited. Yes, you are, girl. <laughs> and, you know, but it comes to a point where, you know, things just, you know, fell out a little bit. You yeah. know, you, you, you want to put this piece in, it's not fitting in. So, there's no days, there are up days, just life, I think. What is the most curious thing? Quite the fashion model. Okay. Looking lovely in that print as well. You're giving us pearls. You know, this is, like why, this is where now manga she comes in, you know? <laughs> manga comes in. I, I believe you can hook me up with one or two things I need to do in order to actually bring out the modeling career in me. I do have it. <laughs> yes, you do. Like girl. you put it. The so. Walk. The body. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm feeling good okay. right now. So yeah. Something, sorry guys, I'm also just needed to yeah. shed some light on. Yeah. Um, as as a we'll be giving back. Yeah. In light of, I mean, it's the giving season. Not that the seasons particularly, but it's Christmas and we're in a pandemic. So we'll be giving back to a couple of orphanages and yeah. if you guys out there have any old stuff, tin food, canned food, just things that you would like to get rid of, know that there are people who can use it and gladly please share these items with us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where <laughs> So I, I love that you're the one, you know Mutale, if you're watching this, Mutale is the girl to organize and just like she is, she is good at it. And I just no, she is. excited to know that she's on top of this project. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we are all involved. Yeah. yeah.
you're equally involved, but we're just so excited that you know it's something which she came up with. <laughs> we should give you some credit. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank <laughs> yeah. you, thank you. But we are all hands on and we are pretty much excited. It's you know it's a given season. Okay. Don't just get people then to also give out as well. So So please feel free to reach out onto any of our social media platforms, either on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Yeah. We will post our number that you can call and yes, we would love for you guys to share what you yeah. what you can. Exactly. Yeah. Even if you want to volunteer in the part, like in any way that you'd want to be part of the team and whatever yeah. you're doing, just feel free to get in touch with us. We share the number and the flyers on all our social media platforms. So it's Utuntu Zangazine on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. You'll find our contact details there. Just feel free to get in touch and we'll be able to work together. I mean, the more, the merrier. Exactly. And sharing is caring. So everybody should be happy during this time. That's true. Right? Let's end the year in style by getting out. Lovely, exactly. lovely. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> you guys are making me close all the time. By the way, oh. it's Friday, first Friday of the month. I'm always in the mood to ask this on a Friday. So, what do you guys have in mind? Oh, I'm coming with you wherever you're going. Baby. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Mutale. I'm gonna have a laid-back weekend. Last weekend was super jam-packed, to be honest. So, you still need some time off. Yeah. yeah, catch up on some sleep, a couple of series, that kind of thing. What are you up to? I'm taking her home. You're going to watch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she's down for whatever I want to, to do. Good. So, but yeah. And it's of course something in particular. Okay. But me, I'm going <laughs> home. Yeah. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. It's quite boring though. <laughs> Let's find out with you, babe. <laughs> Let me you say you're excited. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. We really hope you That's guys fine. enjoyed our show today. Exactly. I know we did. And yeah, please stay tuned. Continue to watch us every Friday and check us out on our social media platforms. We always have something cool hip happening. Yep. So from us to you guys, it is Ashana Bo.